It's Wednesday, January 25th. Here's your five minute fix. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're talking about The Bachelor. That's right, season 27 aired on Monday. I think it was Monday. Anyways, the start of season 27, you got Jesse Palmer out there as the host. And this season's Bachelor is none other than Zach Shawcross. I'm admit, I haven't watched The Bachelor for a hot minute. It's been a very long time. Nonetheless, we're going to take a look at some notable singles that uh, are vying for the opportunity to win over Mr. Shawcross. So uh, I got a list here. I pulled up a, a few Instagram pages here. So we'll start with Zach. Look at this. Oh, so here we got Zach, Mr. Shawcross. He uh, was on The Bachelorette. Good looking young man. Here he is uh, at an Anaheim Ducks game. Wonder who they're playing too bad. It was bottom tier hockey. Taking a picture with the mascot on the ice. Pretty dope. Good for him. Let's get into some of the ladies who are on this season of The Bachelor. We'll start with Bailey. She was one of the five young ladies who were at the finale who got to meet Zach right off the hop. Now, funny with her, Zach actually forgot her name at the end of the finale. So when she come out, she had a little name tag, made a good first impression. Zach went in for the kiss right off the hop. Incredible. Now, don't get me wrong. I haven't watched The Bachelor for a long time, so I wasn't sure how soon he would get into the tongue, the lip action with these ladies. Right off the hop with Bailey. On the daily, you think about Bailey. I think that's what her little tagline was. Kat Carter, very bubbly, high energy. She was actually the last one chosen. Last one given a rose, I should say, rather. And she, she was kind of shocking, you know. I, I think personally I would have chosen a, a different female over her. But hey, I'm not on The Bachelor. I'm not Zach Shalcross. I don't know what's going on through his mind. That's him. Greer Blitzer. She won the first impression rose. And they seem to have a pretty good connection. She seems like a pretty down to earth, pretty chill young lady. We got some Thanksgiving dinner here. Mm, look at that. That's a good looking turkey. Look at the sweet potatoes. Well, they probably use yams. But she got a little rice on there. I don't know what this is. Maybe is that some uh, macaroni casserole? Perhaps. I don't know. Looking delicious. Table set up all real nice. Let's get it. Jess. Jess is another one who I feel he had a pretty decent connection with. She's got this little Instagram post. She's pretty quirky. Seems cool. Likes to laugh. All that good stuff. She's cute. Here we go. The story of Madison. Now, Madison was very enthusiastic about Zach. She felt it was her destiny. She spoke with him. He didn't kiss her. She had noticed he'd kissed other women. She really wanted that first impression rose. She took it upon herself to not only speak with him once, but speak with him twice. The second time in which she forced him to gritty. And then she kissed him. I don't know. Is that her signature move? Maybe. Nonetheless, it didn't really do any justice because when Zach came in and delivered that first impression rose to Greer, phew, Madison flew off the handle. Let me tell you, that girl lost her mind so much so she had to interrupt another conversation as he was talking to Jesse, Mr. Palmer, to tell him pretty much, I don't want the embarrassment of not receiving a rose. Just tell me right now. Am I in or am I out? And you know what he said? He said, Madison, you're too much for me, girl. That was too much. You can see yourself out. And she cried, cried, cried. Oh, my goodness. It was hysterical. I highly suggest. You probably find a clip of it somewhere on the internet. I highly suggest watching it. It was good entertainment. Great entertainment. Then we got Mercedes, the pig farmer. She came out with her pet pig, Henry. She received a rose, definitely made a good impression, and she seemed pretty chill. And we've got Davia. Whoops. She as well received a rose. She was the one who brought out the champagne. That's right. She was the one who brought out the champagne, the first prop to be used. And let me tell you the props that were used. My goodness. We had a people, someone showing up in a party bus. We had people bringing maple syrup from Vermont, uh, lattes, uh, women look licking ears. You got a uh, you got another woman putting getting him to put sunscreen on her face it was wild it was wild i didn't know so many props were used 
I don't know why all these ladies didn't have props. You know, maybe they think, you know, I don't need to use a prop and what have you. But it, 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 this is this is what this was the catalyst. The champagne from Davia was the catalyst to all the props. It was great. It's good to see. So all in all, we'll get a little rundown here. The other girls that left along with Madison were Kara, Holland, Leica, both Olivia's. That's right. Olivia L and Olivia M. Becca, Sonia, Vanessa and Victoria with a K. That's right. Victoria with a K. So there you have it. It's a little rundown of the first episode of The Bachelor. I'm going to have a couple other things uh, going on with this. We'll continue to, to monitor The Bachelor throughout the course of the season, as well as give you regular five minute fix. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what it's been today. Thank you for watching.